congratulate and salute the commendable performances of the young sportsmen and women who recently represented St. Lucia in competitions abroad. Special mention must be made of Gillian Alfred, who won our country's first international sprint gold medal at the Commonwealth Youth Games held in the Bahamas recently. Also deserving of our commendation are the members of the beach soccer team who also captured gold at the Commonwealth Youth Games in the Bahamas by defeating Trinidad and Tobago in the final. The second place finish for Team St. Lucia at the just concluded Winwood Islands Secondary School Games is also commendable, although a championship win is long overdue. Notwithstanding the foregoing, the St. Lucia Labour Party is deeply concerned about the rapid deterioration of the island's sporting in infrastructure and the lack of maintenance of those facilities, particularly at the community level. Since discontinuing the playing field maintenance program, playing fields and playgrounds all over the island are once again in a state of abandonment as obtained during the reign of the UWP in the period 2006 to 2011. The St. Lucia Labour Party is deeply concerned about the reversal of the gains made in youth development and sports during the period 2011 to 2016, where assistance to community sporting organizations, assistance to national or elite athletes, and the modernization of community sporting infrastructure reached unprecedented levels. The convergence of thousands of community residents on playing facilities on weekends in particular has given way to overgrown and abundant playing fields being foraged by small ruminants. This is totally unacceptable for a government which promised so much to the youth. This government has the largest cabinet in the history of our country, from which three ministers have been assigned to the portfolios of youth development and sports. The St. Lucia Labour Party urges the Alan Chastney government to stop paying lip service to the young sportsmen and women of our country and deliver on the promises it made to them during the election campaign of 2016. Thank you.